In this section, I'm going to be describing how you use EQ, which is our third pro mix technique. Now, EQ can also be referred to as equalization or tone controls, but it's called EQ in Cubase. You'll notice that if we look in our rack up here, we have an EQ rack. So I'm going to be using EQ as the terminology for equalization and tone control throughout this course. Now, let's talk about what EQ does. EQ is what you use to focus the frequency content of a channel or track that you want to hear more or less of. And fortunately, Cubase has a really great way to look at the frequency content of what's happening inside of a channel inside of the mix console. And to show that to you, I'm going to come to my bass group, and I'm going to solo that group, and then I'm going to hit the Edit Channel Settings button right here, which is that E button, when I click on that and I look at the equalizer and then press play, what you're going to see is a representation of the frequency content of this mix channel group. See this little graph, this green graph as it goes across the screen? Well, this is the frequency range or the frequency spectrum of the audio that's coming through that group channel. You'll notice that down here at the bottom of the screen, we have 20 hertz units all the way up to 20,000 or 20K hertz units. And that is the frequency range of the human ear. So humans can hear from 20 to 20K. And this other graph from top to bottom shows us the volume of the different frequency ranges. Higher parts of this graph will indicate louder frequencies and as you move to the left, you're going to be seeing higher frequencies, but these you'll notice are a bit quieter than the frequencies over here. And the reason why is because this is a bass guitar and most of its fundamental tone is happening in the low frequency range. But just because it's a bass guitar and we're seeing a lot of bass frequencies doesn't mean that it doesn't have a lot of other frequency content as well. Not fundamental frequency content, but harmonic content. So as you get higher into the frequency spectrum, you start to hear more of the definition of those high notes or the string sound or fret noise. So a bass guitar is a fairly full range instrument. But let's take a look at something that isn't quite as full range. So I'm going to close the channel settings window here and then let's solo the guitar tracks and let's take a listen to those and look at the frequency content you can see there's not nearly as much low frequency information as there was in the bass guitar. Most of the guitar frequencies happen from about 100 hertz up to about 5 kilohertz, and then they really ramp off towards the high frequencies up here. So by using this frequency spectrum, it makes it very easy to go in and make adjustments and not only hear what you're doing to the tonality of that instrument or track or group channel to focus in on the frequencies, but it also helps you see what your ears are hearing. So in the next tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the Cubase EQ.